My apologies, I tilted the camera the last part. It's really hard once again for me to hit that stop record button without tilting that plastic camera. Whatever. Anyway, um, previously the, the second part of my Let's Play of the Jack Nax Precursor Legacy went and it, it was finishing up the rest of the guys' rock training and also doing part one of the Sandover uh, Village uh, for objectives and also meeting a few of the, the villagers there too. And this is most likely going to feature meeting the rest of them. Well, far Farmer Zeb, which is the, uh, that farmer over there, will be met later when I also go to, to the for Forbidden uh, Temple or Jungle. Here's the introduction to the sculptor, which apparently he lost a, a um, special uh, friend of his, which is a, a muse, which is a um, glowing squirrel, which apparently is a fictional animal in this series. Hey! And he makes fixed extra for me. Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. Yeah, I what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. Around, I see beauty in everything, you know. Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a parcel if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? I'm afraid, Dexter, that is going to, to uh, be completely out of your favor. Alright, it's now time to go to the Sentinel Beach. There will be a future backtracking to it because um, I have to act, you have to activate the, um, the eco fence for the yellow eco that's at the Forbidden Jungle. And get and I'll also get those uh, last scout flies in the, the village also in some other episode. Welcome to Sentinel Beach, the first uh, area to do, uh, to do some adventure. Yeah, it's really easy to get to let your guard down against the enemies here. Even though they are easy to defeat and stuff. An introduction to metal crates, which cannot get destroyed with right But they must be something that can bust them open. Okay, I didn't expect to get hit there because I was trying to fight a uh, to fight a um, a lurker enemy there. Apparently, what I was talking about of going back here to backtrack in the future is going to be uh, uh, for Berwyn to be able to, to take out that tower up there. Come on, land in the right spot. Still not, or still not in the right spot. Come on. Come on, be more accurate, lurkers. There, thank you. And here's the introduction to the pelican, which was to uh, steal that over her, uh, on that hey, power cell. That pelican just made the power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Wow. Yeah, nice try uh, on the uh, lurker uh, enemies. Trying to get him by an ambush after uh, on doing that cutscene of the pelican. Now time to go up here, which actually will lead straight on to where uh, what Samos is talking about with his eco collectors. Let's get back and make the switch already. In due time, Daxter. I'm trying to understand the game. Introduction to Lurker Dog. Alright, back to full health again. Gotta destroy those rocks to, to uh, release uh, um, the clusters. You got them uncovered. And of course, going into them, and it gets uh, health all the way back to a complete full. That's the last one. And 
say welcome to Bradley. I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Dexter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> now I don't even know what he was talking about there. <laughs> Yep, those lurkers are bad by this point forward in the series. Until Jack 2 when they actually turn good. There are a few precursor orbs in this beach that are known to be easily uh, overlooked. And they're the ones over here in the back. Of course, it's the, the, ne the next uh, one over, over, the, over to here where they are. I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna grab them now while I get... I, I'm gonna grab them now while I know where they are. These over here. When I was doing a practice file, I actually did miss these orbs before. There, now they're no longer gonna be a problem there for the future. Hey, seagulls! Let's buzz and kick kicks. Yup, seagulls. Gotta scare them in order to uh, um, get to a way to another tower cell. Get this uh, cell over here. And now to get the seagulls one last time to cause an avalanche and get another power cell that gets released for us. Who would have thought that seagulls can actually cause an, a, a rock slide? They're very small creatures. There's the set. Wow! They caused an avalanche! Let's check it out! Replace those poles up from the left! Yeah! You have to do the uppercut move to be able to send those up. I don't have to do the uppercut for that one because it actually just leads to that one area which I was able to get to by doing a high jump, so... There's no point in, in just in doing anything with that. And of course, these enemies can't really be able to dodge attacks if they go back in the shell. It can be really annoying for that. There's still about a minute left. Now to get these, uh, uh, these uh, orbs that are underwater. Which Daxter will, will ask for to swim some more and get it. Some more over here. And some over here, and there's also a few other orbs I was known to really miss too, which are actually behind that waterfall that's actually uh, not far from this position. Right behind this waterfall, there are a few orbs that I had a hard time trying to find when I was doing my practice file. Hiding right here behind the, the waterfall. It was so annoying uh, back when I was dealing with that. But it won't be for this for this last play. And I also uh, I did not I did mention that if you actually press jump at the right moment when you land on top of the water, you actually can do skips across. Oh, they came back. Oh, okay. Thank you for watching um, the, th the third part of my Let's Play of, uh, of Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy, and the fourth part will be uh, um, shortly. I'm signing off.